Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever, forever and ever. Amen. No one is beneath me, and the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to make this video. starts prophesying that he draws attention to himself and he has to really walk a fine line so that he doesn't draw attention to himself but he draws attention to to Jesus and to God the Father and give them all the credit all the glory all the honor because it is all theirs and a watchman has to do the same thing and especially me with my dreams and visions because they give me insight into the future what's coming and so I I try hard not to draw attention to myself so thus I don't I don't claim any titles I don't claim doctor I don't claim prophet I don't claim deacon or preacher I don't I don't claim you know I don't claim any any titles in fact the Holy Spirit told me to burn my diploma I did the Holy Spirit told me to get in sackcloth set in ashes put dirt on my head which I did the Holy Spirit told me to fast and pray which I did you will find especially if you find yourself in public with your sackcloth with your Bible if you're in prayer either setting in ashes or, or dust or, or ashes on your head in fact people look down on you for, for doing that dressing in sackcloth but I don't care I don't care I will humble myself before Almighty God and I will do what he asked me to do my diploma my diploma I've burned it in my wood stove because the Holy Spirit asked me to. He asked me to. That it would please God that if I did that. So I did that. But then the Holy Spirit came to me and said that my silver and my gold wouldn't save me. And that, so I donated my silver to the church we were going to at the time. I give it up as a uh, as a raffle prize. About four hundred dollars worth of silver. I did it to please God. I trust in God. I trust in Him. We have nothing else. And now, as everything is collapsing down around us. And more so every single day. You can see it coming. You can see it coming. Food prices are still going up. Meat is still going up very radically. It's going to get totally out of out of hand in the next couple months. Because there's nothing else that can save us. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. your faith in Jesus instead of man instead of doctors lawyers instead of instead of any man put your faith and trust in Jesus as there is nothing else nothing else nothing else can save you from what's coming only Jesus now we may get raptured any moment we may get raptured tomorrow 
We may get raptured in a week, two weeks, four weeks. We don't know. We do not know. We are commanded to occupy until he comes, of course. So we occupy and we work for the Lord. We give our testimony to others so that they may be saved out of what's coming. born at this time right now right now to be put here at this time right now to be a witness for this time of sorrows and to be a witness for the rapture and whether you go or whether you stay that choice is up to you but right now right now I'm telling you I'm warning you right now is the time to humble yourself before God right now is the call is the time to call on Jesus Christ and to humble yourself and to get in your sackcloth or dress in rags set in ashes, dump out your vacuum cleaner set in that, put that dust on your head lower your head lower yourself, get on your knees if, if it's physically possible for you to do so get on your knees and cry out to God cry out to Jesus to save you to save you to save you because these are the last days, and we are that last generation. Tick tock, tick tock, time is winding down. We'll see before Jesus comes for us. I don't know. I don't know if we'll see a little, because we're seeing a little right now, or if we will see a lot before Jesus comes. I don't know. That's not in my hands, it's not my call. My call is to be prepared and to be watching and to be in prayer and to be faithful until that day that Jesus comes for his bride, us. And if you understand what it means to be without spot or wrinkle, that means to be and if you're not perfect because I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. But to humble yourself before God and repent, 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 repent. Repent every time you pray because sin is in everything. It's in everything. It's in everything. So we need to pray all the time and repent all the time. We need to say the blessing over every single meal because sin is in our food now. It's in our drinks, it's in our very water. To fast, to sit in ashes, and to pray, to humble yourself before God, and call on Jesus, the only one, the only one, the only one that can save you, me, or anyone from what's coming. Because what's coming is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I've seen it. I know. And I have wept. I have wept bitterly. I have wept bitterly for the lost. Because they have no idea what's coming right at them, right at them. And they refuse to open their eyes. They refuse to see. They refuse to see. But, it, but nevertheless, it's still coming. Right now, right now, is the time. Is the time. To repent of your sin, beg Jesus into your heart into your life, to give you a new heart, to lead you and guide you every step of the way, every step of the way, for what days you have left on this earth, because bad times are coming, and just like birth pains, I said several years ago, that it was the start of the time of sorrows, and that, that our calamities would come faster and faster and, and get stronger and stronger and, and harder and harder, did I lie? Did I lie? Our calamities have speeded up, gotten more intense, more painful. So the rapture is soon. The rapture is soon. And I pray that you are prayed up and ready to go because it's soon. God bless you. God keep you and yours in His loving arms just like He helped me. Just like He helped me. Because that's where we all. 
That's where we all. Princess is in his loving arms. There's no safer place to be. And every one of you have been a blessing to me and, and, uh, and this ministry. And we love you. We love you all so very, very much. And that's why, that's why we've started the Azusa Street ministry. We've started it as an underground church. So, to be more in line with the Word of God, and to be more pleasing to God. So that's why we've started the Azusa Street Ministry Church. And uh, that website is Azusa, A-Z-U-S-A, S-T, dot C-O-M. And we pray that we see you there on that website as well. God bless you. God keep you. Every is our prayer. And we love you all so very much. Amen.